pieces I have. So it's just a big surprise what, yeah, okay. I forgot about that. All right, so you're playing a Fide Master, but is he a crazy house master? We'll find out. Take here. Okay. I think we know the answer to the question already, but maybe there's something I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's not a crazy house master. Most of us are still learning the variant, um, which is just released today, so uh, there's definitely a learning curve for most of us. Um, I have kind of a head start on that learning curve since I used to play on other chess servers and was rated about 2,000 at Crazy, Crazy House. Um, I think it was my best variant. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just a little bit booked up on these kinds of things. But I haven't touched it in a while, so it's possible I might have forgotten a lot of this. Um, if I had a queen, that would be so nice. Alright, so I've castled by hand. Uh, do I want this? I don't want to give up my rook. This is why he's a Fide Master, because he, he appreciates how strong these attacking pieces are. Um, I'm going to give up my rook against my better judgment, but I think getting back these light squares um, is something important enough for me to... Uh, give back some material. Holy moly. This is uncomfortable. So he might not be like a crazy house master, but he's still going to kick my butt. Because uh, he's still good at chess. And crazy house is just a variant. It's chess like other variants are chess. Um... Hmm. He's got no pieces in hand, so I can afford to do this, and I'm not instantly dead for doing it. Um, that said, it is pretty scary. Yep, not a problem. Um... My king is going on a bit of a walk. Yeah, I don't have the right pieces to block his attack. And now he's threatening to, like, try drop stuff and mate me that way. Um, my king's gonna run this away. Oh! Never mind, then. Alright, well, that ends that game. Um... But yeah, I don't think that that opening play was sound, uh, but it was good enough to beat me. Oh, now we got an international master. Dare I repeat to this I am what the FM just played against me? Probably not. <laughs> But it would be something if I just, like, lashed out and sacked on F7 against the IM and pulled off some miracle upset. Um, that would be fantastic. Oh, can you just take F2? Like I was saying, I probably ought to wrap this up. Um, hmm. Like, if I'm not calculating clearly and cogently, uh, I probably should not continue playing the tournament. It's been fun thus far, but um, as I get more and more exhausted, uh, I miss a lot more tactics. Alright, so what's his big idea? Like, if I just... Okay, he's going to get a knight in hand soon enough. I guess that's what he's banking on. I've got to go to a light square. So, this one instant, I'm not dead yet. But, um, 
more broadly speaking, I think I'm okay. Like, I can pull my bishop back here, drop other bishops and such on dark squares, and probably not get mated as long as he doesn't get a knight. And if he does get a knight, then hopefully he doesn't get enough pawns and bishops and such to continue. No, I, I really don't believe in king g3 there. Um, it just seems like absolutely the wrong way to go. Okay, he seeks confrontation here. Sure. Okay, we'll trade a bishop for a bishop. Um, let's pin the knight. I'm not intending to give up any knights here. Knights are great way, great attackers for breaking through fortresses. I'm not intending on giving up any of them. Um, Okay, let's take there, and win a rook. See, normally this doesn't happen, so that's not a common tactic. Um, but I'm playing little street smart chess where I'm just exploiting what's available in the moment. Uh, do I want the rook or the pawn? I think I want the pawn, actually, because this increases the count of the pieces that I have, as opposed to the material value. And the greater the count of the pieces, the more tactical opportunities there are. Okay, if I drop e7 and then play knight at d5... Oh, he's got queen e6, though. Um... Hmm... How do I not have some nonsense against this stuff? Like, how am I not instantly winning this? This has got to be strong. There's like no way I'm not winning a queen and more um, with this kind of stuff. Do I play knight at d5? No, I just... Yeah, knight at d5 seems stronger than just knight d5. Um... Oh, but now he's got queen e6 again. Oh, but then I have pawn at f5. Yeah, this, this queen... Notice that he's not able to check me by putting a piece on a dark square. And I guess he's not able to check me by putting pieces on light squares either. And he really wants a knight. Knights are really strong in this variant. And... I guess that's something that he's going to better appreciate as, as a result of this game. Um, okay. But what if I don't want to take your queen? Yeah, why take a queen for a knight when you can get a rook for nothing? Um, or I could get both. Okay. And if he takes, then my rook gets open on the h file. So momentarily I'm up material. Um, still not getting mated. Man, he really wants a knight. And I don't want to give him a knight. Oh shoot. That might hurt. That might hurt a lot. Then again, I might have some tactics that cancel that out, but um, I shouldn't have banked on that. All right. 
let's see this. Oh, that's okay. That's an interesting way to address this position. Now if he checks me on e2, I just take his knight and bishop, and I just have an overwhelming number of pieces. Um, okay. What's he intending? I'm just really confused. Okay, I gave him his knight. He's got the knight he's been clamoring for this whole game. Um, I'm not sure that at this point it helps him. If he does nothing, I just have knight g6. Actually, queen, rook h8 make, is even stronger. Alright, good game. Good game. 